If you are a struggling writer, plagiarism is not the way to go. The Words. The Words starring Bradley Cooper, Dennis Quaid, Olivia Wilde, Zoe Zaladane, and Jeremy Irons is a very good movie. I thought it was Bradley Cooper's best film, even though the critics don't seem to like it. And you know what? They can go kiss my ass. I like this movie. <laughs> I can see the problem that this movie may have. It's very deep. And a little, there's like uh, maybe three or four levels to this movie. I mean, this movie is basically a dramatic version of Inception when you watch it. Basically, Bradley Cooper, his name is Rory Jensen. He's a struggling writer who published who writes a manuscript, submits it to, uh, his pub to a publisher, and the publisher says he can't publish it. He does not have any real way to publish it because he has no, because Rory has no record. So he's not able to get any money. He's not able to really make any money. Uh, I don't know what his, what, what his um, soon to be wife and then later on Mary's wife does. So mostly he's been living off his father's uh, pay, living off his father's money, played by J.K. Simmons. And so he, so pretty soon he's forced to take a day job at, at an office build, building somewhere. I think he did like a, a, like a clerk moving around uh, papers, that, well, you know, the bottom of the ladder kind of deal of work. And he, when he marries Dora, they spend a honeymoon in Paris, France. And while in Paris, he buys this leather binder, and they get home. And when he goes through the binder, he finds a manuscript. He reads the manuscript, and... The manuscript is good. It, it is an amazing manuscript. And he feels, wow, I'm going to retype this manuscript into my computer. And word for word, he doesn't even correct the spelling errors. And then his wife reads the manuscript thinking that it is his own words and says, you must, you must get, bring, get this to a publisher. And so he does. He gives this to uh, his boss at the office building and uh, convinces him to be his agent. And they get the book published, and he becomes a big success. Until we meet Jeremy Irons, the old man, and we find out he is the real writer. He tells his own life story behind the manuscript, how he got the inspiration, where he meets Ben Barnes, I believe is the young man. Yeah, Ben Barnes. And Ben Barnes really looks like a young Jeremy Irons in this film. When you find out about his life, about, about how they don't really give a name to the old man. How he meets his wife, named Cecilia, and how 
they fall in love and everything. I don't want to go too deep into this story because I do think people should see it. But it, it is an amazing story that he tells. And yeah, it can get, it, it could be boring if you don't like this, this kind of a film. But I like these kinds of films and I actually got very well invested into the story. As for Olivia Wilde and Dennis Quaid, he, Dennis Quaid is the storyteller telling the story about Brad, about Roy Jenkins. He is the one that wrote, he plays the guy who writes, wrote the words. I don't, I don't know if uh, Clay Hammond, uh, I'm reading John Hammond's character. Clay Hammond is Dennis Quaid's character. I don't know if, if this guy really exists. He's probably just a fictional, fictional character. But he's the storyteller telling it to us, and Olivia Wilde is us, our eyes, the audience perspective of the movie. I suppose in a sexy way of a coming on to Clay kind of manner. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> she is the audience perspective. And I thought that was a brilliant way of presenting the story. I thought it was very smart. And when you get to the ending of the movie, I thought that was brilliant. The ending in and of itself, how it ends. I don't want to give away how it ends either. And the movie is a bit long. It is, oh really, it's an hour and 36 minutes. <laughs> Oh, man, because well, it actually felt a little bit longer. <laughs> it felt like two hours. I mean, it's just how, how much I, I like the movie. Okay, so maybe that's another way of uh, uh, saying that it's not a perfect 10 out of 10, because it actually feels like a longer movie. But the movie moves pretty well, in my opinion, as far as the story story's pacing is concerned. So I'll give this movie a 9 out of 10. I mean, this story is a lot to take in, and yeah, it's very deep, so someone could get bored, or if you really like deep movies, you could really love this movie. And I really like this movie. I think this is Bradley Cooper's best work as an actor. First time to ever do a serious role where lately he's done roles like uh, Face from the A-Team movie or uh, that Hit and Run or, you know, yeah, Hangover Part 2 and Hangover 1, Limitless. This is a very good movie, in my opinion. So, yeah, definitely go see.